Yo, people, yo, people. So normally I would refer to Kamala Harris as a deeply unimpressive person because she is. But recently she did something very impressive. She managed to politicize a hurricane. So let's take a look at her criticizing Ron DeSantis for not picking up her phone calls. DeSantis, NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis is ignoring your calls on hurricanes, resources and, and help. How does that hurt the situation here? You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations, these are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish and it is about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do, which is to put the people first. So there you go, there you go. And you may be tempted to say, well, hold on, how is Kamala Harris the bad guy here? Ron DeSantis is refusing to take calls from the White House in the middle of a hurricane? That's reckless and irresponsible. Well, there's one slight problem with that narrative, and that's this. The governor of Florida has been cooperative. He said he's gotten all that he needs. I talked to him again yesterday, and I, and I said, whatever you, I said, no, you're doing a great job. It's being all being done well. We thank you for it. And I literally gave my personal phone number to call. Um, so I don't know. There was a rough start in some places, but every governor, every governor from Florida to North Carolina has been fully cooperative and supportive and acknowledged what this team is doing. And they're doing an incredible job. But we got a lot more to do. Ah, so there you go. There you go. So you see, the reason why Ron DeSantis is not picking up Kamala Harris's phone calls is because he has a direct line to the president himself. He's been speaking to the president. So why bother speaking to the vice president? What's the point? So is she so is she willfully lying about Ron DeSantis? Is she willfully lying and pretending like he's ignoring her for political gain? Like he somehow gains anything politically from this? Or is it the case that Kamala Harris is talking out of her ass? Pretending like Ron DeSantis is ignoring the White House in this whole situation, just leaving them aside because he doesn't like Democrats. It's so stupid. Right? Anybody who believes that Ron DeSantis is doing this ignoring Kamala Harris. So some kind of political gamesmanship is an idiot. What, you think he's going to win votes by doing this? I'm sorry, nobody thinks that Ron DeSantis will win votes, right? That the Republicans will become more popular if a leading Republican decides to just cut out the White House who can help him in the middle of a hurricane. Nobody in their right mind thinks that that's a winning proposition, politically speaking. And I would bet Ron DeSantis doesn't think it either. Right? Even if you think that he's coming at this from a political perspective, from a political end somehow, even if you think that, right, there is no benefit to him politically to cut the White House and all the help they can offer out of the equation just because he doesn't like Democrats. So this weird idea that he's not picking up Kamala Harris's phone calls because he somehow wants to one-up her in some way is ridiculous It's because she's of no help. And in fact, you know what? Ron DeSantis has addressed this himself. Let's listen to Ron DeSantis explain why he's not picking up Kamala Harris's phone calls. We've been laser focused on leveraging all resources available, including from the federal government. And I've been in touch with both FEMA and the president, as well as marshalling all our state agencies and working to support our local communities. And so for Kamala Harris uh, to try to say that my sole focus on the people of Florida is somehow selfish uh, is delusional. She has no role in this. Uh, in fact, she's been vice president for three and a half years. I've dealt with a number of storms under this administration. She has never uh, contributed anything to any of these efforts. And so what I think is selfish has she ever is her before? trying to blunder into this. No. And here's has the she thing. She has no role. No, she has no role in this process. Uh, I'm in contact with the president of the United States. I'm in contact with FEMA director. I'm obviously managing all our state agencies. We're supporting all our local government. And I will say this. I've had storms under both President Trump and President Biden, uh, and I've worked well with both of them. She's the first one who's trying to politicize the storm, and she's doing that just because of her campaign. She's trying to get some type of an edge. She knows she's, she's doing poorly and so she's playing these political games. I don't have time for political games. I've got people whose lives are on the line. I've got people whose homes and their possessions are on the line, and we are focused 100% on that mission. 
I'm not worried about playing her political games. And so she is being selfish by trying to blunder into this when we're working just fine. <laughs> so there you go. There you go. I, mean, I think listening to that, I was just thinking, you know, that's the most polite way I've ever heard anybody want to fuck off in my life. Like, he, he, like, he didn't say it, but you could tell he really wanted to say it. He just wanted to be like, piss off. And he's right. What's Kamala Harris going to do that Joe Biden can't do? Like he said, he's a busy guy. I imagine he is. His state is about to be hit with a flipping hurricane. So I imagine he's a pretty busy geezer right now. What's he going to pick up Kamala Harris's phone calls for? To do what? And I love how this is spun into a news story as well. And Kamala Harris makes a meme of it, right? If Kamala Harris had even a little bit of maturity, she could at least just say, you know what? He's not picking up my phone calls. Maybe he's a busy guy. He's got things to do. He's in contact with Joe Biden and he'll get back to me as soon as he can. Right. You know, that's what a mature person would say in this situation. Not assume that he's ignoring you, knowing full well, or at least you should know full well, that he's in contact with her boss. You can't just be assuming that he's ignoring you because he's trying to make it political. You know, he's not a real leader. He's being selfish. How? You know, if you want to make that assertion, Kamala, please do tell what it is that you are going to provide, what it is that you will do to help the people of Florida that Joe Biden just cannot do. Because he's got a direct phone line to your boss. And if you're saying that he has to also pick up your calls as well, why? What will you provide? How will you help the people of Florida, the people that Ron DeSantis is focused on helping? How will you help different from how Joe Biden's helped? And the answer, seemingly based on previous history, at least as recounted by Ron DeSantis, is that basically she won't help. She's, she's not going to help at all. She's never been of any help. He says this. That he's had storms under Trump and Biden, right? And under Biden, obviously, Kamala Harris has not been in any capacity involved and hasn't really had anything to do with it. That's what he just said. And so why all of a sudden now he's supposed to think she's involved? He's supposed to think she has some kind of smoking gun to help him deal with a flipping hurricane coming towards his state is ridiculous. He's right. She's trying to politicize a flipping hurricane. But don't worry, people. Look, she's there questioning Ron DeSantis. Is he a real leader? He's a real leader wouldn't wouldn't be so selfish like how you can even think of voting for this clown i don't know like seriously it's it's such awful behavior to politicize a hurricane you can't even give the man the benefit of the doubt like you can't even you can't even sit there and say okay he's not picking up my phone calls maybe that's because he's a busy guy you can't even do that right you wanted to, she, you know, she's sitting there talking about how he's basically turning this into a political game. Uh, this is all about political partisanship. If this was a Democrat, you'd have given him the benefit of the doubt. 100%. If Ron DeSantis was a Democrat, she would be sitting there. If this was a Democrat governor, she would be sitting there saying he's busy. If it was Tim Walz, she'd be saying, oh, he's busy. He's got things to do. You know, he's managing the situation and, you know, he will get back to me as soon as he can. That's probably what she would say. Right, but because it's Ron DeSantis, a Republican, all of a sudden now she immediately assumes that he's ignoring her because he's trying to one-up her politically. But it seems like now with this hurricane barreling towards Florida, time is of the essence. And so picking up phone calls for your useless ass is not really a good use of his time. And that's what he's kind of trying to say here. Like I said earlier, right, he, this was a polite way by Ron DeSantis of telling Kamala Harris to fuck off. Like, you stop calling me with your bullshit. That's basically that's what he wanted to say, but he's trying to have more decorum, I suppose. If if you if you want Ron DeSantis to pick up your calls, why don't you give him a reason? Why don't you give him something that he can actually use? Right? His people, the American people, the people that you hope to rule over, right, are about to be hit with a category five hurricane. What can you do to help that Joe Biden is not doing? That FEMA is not doing? What can you do? I mean, seriously, she says put politics aside. And then here she is refusing to put politics aside at all. Utilizing a hurricane for political benefit is truly disgusting. Even Joe Biden's not doing it. And I mean, I suppose you could say that Joe Biden's on the way out and she's replacing him. So he's got no reason to, to play political games anymore. For what? He's got a few months left before he's out the door. So there's no point in him playing any political games. I suppose you could say that. But even Joe, even nonetheless, even Joe Biden's not doing it. Even Joe Biden's been like, yeah, we, we've been talking to Ron DeSantis. He's doing a good job. We rate we rate what the job he's doing. We appreciate it. Right? And Kamala Harris is coming along. Pick up the phone for me. Like, can you not save this for another time? Do you really have to start fixating on the election? 
Do you really have to start with this political stuff in the middle of a hurricane? Do you really have to? Is there something you have to do? Like, are you that callous that that's something you actually feel like you need to do? You need to start politically campaigning in the middle of an election because that's what effectively that's what that was, at least to me. Right? You're spending your time attacking an extremely popular Republican governor for basically no other reason that I can see other than the desire to attack Republicans and make it look like they have no interest in dealing with the situation. But seriously, like, Kamala, if you want to help, help. Why why are you pinging off DeSantis' phone, bro? Leave the guy alone, man. Leave the guy alone. If you want to help, you can help. I'm sure if there are some things you can do, you can ask your boss and he can tell you what to do, or you can figure it out for yourself. There was no political disarray prior to her entering this conversation. Joe Biden just admitted that he and DeSantis are, like, agreeing fine on this regard. They're cooperating well with each other, and he said he's happy with the job DeSantis is doing. Right, so there was no political disagreement here. This was not a political issue. This was a keep Americans safe and alive and try and preserve as much of their properties as you can situation, as Ron DeSantis just laid out. And then Kamala Harris comes in and decides to make it all political for her Vibes campaign. Is this the vibes you want? Is this the vibes you want? Bitching and moaning because the guy who's running a state that's about to be hit by a Category 5 hurricane isn't picking up your phone calls because you have nothing to offer, nothing to give. You know what, Kamala Harris, here's a job for you. I'll give you a job. You don't even know me, but I'll give you a job, right? How about this? See, you were complaining on the campaign trail about price gouging. I'm hearing, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but it may well be. I'm hearing that flight companies are charging like triple the price. I'm hearing their plane tickets going for like $3,000, something like that, to escape Florida. You want to talk about price gouging at high levels? Is that right there? It can't be the case that Floridians are being financially trapped in their own fucking state when a hurricane is coming their way. That can't be happening. It can't be the case that I'm hearing loads of accounts of Floridians talking about how they can't afford accommodation when they leave the state. And so they don't really know what they're going to do. Some are talking about how they don't have any fuel. Everybody's stocked up on fuel so they could escape and get out of the way. And so there's no more fuel left. Right? Why, don't you, why don't you focus on these things? Why do you focus on dealing with that? Why do you try to help the man? Why do you try to help Ron DeSantis? But yet, not just Ron DeSantis, why do you help the entire state? Why do you help the people? Instead of pinging off his phone for no reason. There's a start for you right there. But yeah, let me know what you lot think about this down below. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe, people, and see ya.